going to show you how to make $100 per day swing trading stocks. Hello? What? Fox Tail from the D. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Fox Tail Digital coming to you again with black girl stocks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make $100 plus per day from swing trading stocks. This video is gonna fully be focused on stock shares and we're gonna have a video for options coming too. So I know a lot of my followers like to do options. I mean, you can probably use this for options too, but this is really just gonna be about stock shares, okay? But if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. I need 2,000 likes on this video. Make sure that you click that thumbs up button. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. First, I just wanna give a shout out to Tiblio. Tiblio is an amazing option trader tool. So if you guys are new to trading options and you're wondering what stocks can I trade options on? What strike price do I pick? What expiration? Huh? Tiblio is gonna help you on your journey journey to better trading with options. Um, so make sure that you check out Tiblio and if you are interested in signing up, please make sure that you use my link so that you get 20% off your first month, 30 day money back guarantee. So, so make sure you use my link. So just briefly for anyone who's new to swing trading, I have a video talking in detail about the ins and outs of swing trading. So I'll leave that link down below. But basically swing trading is a strategy that focuses on taking smaller gains in short term trends and cutting losses quicker. Okay, so when you're swing trading, you're gonna buy a stock and you're gonna sell it either the next day or any day after that. So buying and selling a stock in the same day, that's considered day trading. But when you're swing trading, you're buying that stock, holding it for a couple of days, at least a day, and then gaining your profit that way. With swing trading, the gains might be small, but when you're doing it consistently over time, they're gonna add up very quickly. So we're gonna focus on stocks that have clear patterns of being overbought and oversold with an average profit range of 10%. You can even go as low as 5% if you're just starting out with this, but you really wanna start by getting a desired percentage goal, not so much dollar amounts, because it's gonna be easier to gauge what steps you'll need to take to get there. So yeah, this is gonna be much easier. So instead of looking for gains of 20%, 25%, 30%, the smaller profits are gonna be on your side for these short-term gains. So if we're wanting to do daily flips with this, it's more realistic to expect smaller percent change. Changes. Larger swings can take weeks or months to develop. The average time that you're going to hold those swing trades for profits is gonna be around five to 10 days. So in this sense, you can make a lot of small gains that add up over time. Because we're finding and taking positions that'll last a few days, we're gonna look for stocks that have a clear overbought and oversold pattern on the longer time frame charts. So that can be the three month 180 day charts or even the one month because this is gonna give you a bird's eye view of what's actually going on with the stock trend. And it's also gonna help you gauge your entry and exit position. So look for stocks or ETFs with a very clear and distinct support and resistance zones. So you can do a full scan and find stocks that fit these criteria um, using stock screeners and scanners. I have a full playlist of videos covering this topic, so I'll make sure to leave that link below also. But I'm telling you, screeners are gonna be your friend. They're gonna help you find the stocks uh, that you're looking for for whatever strategy that you're doing. So there's so many different strategies that you can do with stock trading, you know, that really just depends on the particular stock and what the price is doing at that time. Uh, the main thing is for the screener to list a good price margin so what price are you comfortable with the stock being so for me I set my scanners um, from $10 to $50 so that's whether I'm 
actually buying this actually no that's really just for options um, if I was actually buying the shares I would probably leave it probably somewhere between one and ten dollars because I like to look for high volume high volatility and uh, you know buy a lot of shares so you're gonna want a stock that has higher volume uh, the trading volume is a way to measure how often a stock or ETF is traded over a period of time for the sake of it I'm just gonna say in that day so whatever volume that you see on your stock chart for that underlying stock that's how many times that stock has been bought or sold during that trading day choosing high volume stocks is gonna minimize your volatility they also tend to have much closer gaps between your bid and your ask prices so I know I've talked about this on this channel a couple of times but it's really important to know your ask and your bid you do not want to enter trades that have huge spreads or differences in between the bid and the ask so they're gonna have a lot less buying and selling opportunities for volume I'm gonna suggest something at least at least 300,000 in volume you know you can go ahead and Google good support and resistance stocks find that I did that and I you know I made a little watch list so I found some cute stocks I'm gonna keep them in the watch list I'm not gonna go ahead and jump into those just yet because it depends on the setup but yeah you can go ahead and go through that list to find a few good picks yeah I found a few interesting ones with decent price ranges so you can add these to your own watch list and keep an eye on them for good entry and exit points this is gonna be for the swing trading next one of the most important aspects of you know swing trading or any trading is going to be your initial investment how much money are you going to need to put up front to make you at least $100 per day I'm just gonna be upfront with you and I'm gonna say a great starting position for this is gonna be a thousand dollars I say this because if you're looking at a lower stock price with let's say 10% movement an upward trending investment of at least a thousand dollars is gonna easily get you your $100 plus profits so yeah you have um, um, you have a stock you see at least 10% profits in there you throw a thousand dollars in there that's gonna be your $100 of course you can you can get a hundred dollars with less than a thousand dollar investment you can do option contracts um, you can do penny stocks any of that but you're going to be looking at a larger percentage gains you know when you do it this way start slow over time and then you'll lose less so when I was starting out investing a thousand dollars was a lot for me at that time go at your own own pace learning a good strategy that continues to bring you profits is the most important take from this so you want continued gains for your own calculations you can do this mathematically so if you want to make about a hundred dollars per day that's gonna be five hundred dollars per week so you're gonna to want to find good stocks that offer at least five to ten percent profits on average so that's gonna be on your swings up if you're looking at a great swing trade stock you're gonna see a lot of patterns uh, with different indicators the RSI indicator and you're also gonna see patterns on the price movement support and resistance indicators like the EMA lines there's a lot that can go into this but once you have an idea of the potential profits of the stock then you can calculate on average how much you would need to invest to see your desired profit so if you wanted to profit an average of $500 a week from a stock uh, with potential profits of let's say 15% then we would need to invest about $3,750 to meet our weekly goal so if you wanted to go ahead and make sure solidify that amount this is how much you would more than likely need to invest and that's okay so now let's go through a few stocks with good patterns and really look at the indicators for our entry and exit points let's say if you're looking at a stock that's uptrending so I'm looking at this stock Tesla so hopefully you guys can see what we're doing but as far as being overbought and oversold uh, when I say that I'm talking about this RSI indicator right here so when you see you know this chart reaching down here with this light blue that means that for that time period the stock is oversold so a lot of people are selling off on that and then of course oh when you see it up here it's going to be at its highest so you see here on a recent high that's not even as high as the RSI can go for it for its recent high um, that's one method that you can do for an uptrending stock I would say your upper position for your RSI is gonna be 80 instead of the 70 and the lower support is going to be or resistance uh, your lower support is going to be at about 40 so you're gonna change those margins for an uptrending stock and I only like to trade uptrending stocks so that's why I say that I really like uptrending stocks and it needs to be trading above this 50-day 
moving average. So this white line right here, this is your moving average. You see that every time that the stock is trading above that, uh, it's going up and then once it start trading once it starts trading below then you know we see that our stock is going towards a down pattern for this make sure that you're going to you're going to want to keep up uh, with your indicators on this stock chart i have other videos about the indicators so i'm not going to go into that here but the main thing for this is you want to find patterns in your stock and then you're going to want to know how much that you need to invest to make that 100 dollars a day you need this to be something that's moving every day something like this tesla it's moving every day but it's also a little bit expensive um, if I was going to do something like this, I would probably, you know, do a, a short sell or maybe an iron condor or something like that. Some type of credit where I'm not actually paying money for this up front because $700, that's a lot for me, Tesla. Um, but you see these previous support points. It is in an uptrend and um, you have some resistance port, uh, resistance points here that it looked like it just, you know, kind of shot through. This was last week on the 13th. So for a particular stock like this, this would be something that you would want to look at to swing trade. Um, look Look at this overbought and oversold pattern here and just kind of gauge in between how long it takes for that stock to become overbought with the red or oversold with the blue again blue green uh, let me look at another good swing trade stock it kind of looks the same but you see here higher highs had some dips some lows the price trading below the 50-day moving average and then as soon as we cross over through that up when the moving average is kind of in between the price movement you know that's signifying that it's side trading and then here uh, it's trading below so i would not get into nio right now because it's downtrending and i remember somebody was going off on chris sane for suggesting a um a put play for the nio but i mean it's clearly dropping right now so i don't know who's mad at him for that relax but yeah so that's pretty much it uh, i hope that this video was helpful for you it's very easy to make $100 a day swing trading even in the same day I, I obviously I'll say day trading because you can you know because you can put money in there and have it you know jump up with the flip in a couple of minutes for this particular thing I wanted to talk about um, swing trading and then of course what's important is actually finding your stocks so like I said you can find stocks of things like uh, swingers screeners and things like this for me i personally like to use td ameritrade's think or swim because they just make everything so much easier for me so i keep my stock in a four hour 180 day chart so that i have a good bird's eye view like i said of what's going on you see right here i mean i'm looking i'm seeing some downtrends here even though it is showing this little up here We'll see if she breaks past, you know, her previous resistance points, but you know, that's something to think about. Look at this uptrend. What is this? Zim, uptrend, Zim is him. I'm gonna be honest with you, just looking at this little dip right here, I don't know, they may go out of business on Monday. So everybody's doing good. All the companies are doing good right now, so. Uh, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. All right, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. We're about to go live in a little bit, so I'll probably see y'all then. All right, bye.